Welcome back everyone. My name is Pollux and I am the boss. Today we're going to be going on May's Great Ice Wall Adventure. We're going to be walking through the map, King's Row. Let's get right into it. Okay, so starting right off on attack, we've got a few options. We've got this bus right here. So we want to get up and take a different view like that. From here you can actually hop up onto this. You can also choose to just jump directly onto here you probably have to use this ledge though just try to jump like this it's not gonna work so make sure if you're gonna go directly onto it you use that little ledge over on the left side we have another little place and this is a place that uh, I sometimes will come out instead of running with the entire team going that way. I'll actually come this way or even come out this door that nobody else even ever comes out of. To just come up here, use my first ice wall to make sure that nobody's sitting right here waiting to do anything, you know, shoot your team in the back. So there's that. On defense, um, just to keep in mind before they start, if nobody's paying attention, and you're able to, you can feel free to come over here and do exactly what I was just saying and wait. And then if I really need to escape, what I tried to do a moment ago, do that and actually get yourself up to here. Okay, so when you're walking through this choke right here, you'll have the team set up here normally, sometimes in this room, and sometimes you'll even have somebody right there. Um, you can either create an ice wall going over there to that side or you can actually just create an ice wall right here and just hop directly over it and get all of them their stuff so if you happen to be sitting there long enough where you have a blizzard and you want to make sure you know you want to throw your blizzard right there but you don't want to jump through here and get instant killed you can actually take your ice wall and put it here. Now make sure you're not doing it on this flat surface. You want it to be on that right there. So it's high enough up. You can see the difference in the animation where it's gonna go up onto that ridge. You see how it changes right there? You want it to be on that when you do it. Then you'll be able to jump over with a little bit of push. If you just do it directly from the ground, it's not going to work. It's just not. So make sure that when you're doing it, <clears throat> just, you know, just aim towards the wall, get close enough. You don't have to try to aim at that thing directly. Just aim close enough to the wall right there. And you'll have what you need. Come over here and just cause havoc. Okay, so there's that. You can definitely use your ice wall to get up onto this thing. That's pretty weird. Kind of a waste of an ice wall, but if you want to, you can either do that, do some weird, you know, between the legs type of thing. I don't ever really do that. Um, you can come up here. Now on defense, one place that I like to, like to go up to, if they're coming through this area, you can use it and come here to surprise them and actually, you know, flank behind them. And you can actually freeze them from behind and once they finally notice you, use your ice wall to actually get away and rejoin your team right over here. So there's different ways to, to use that, but I definitely have used my ice wall to get into there many, many times. This is a good spot as well. And from here, you can just simply jump over to this. Obviously, since these are the same level, you can put an ice wall up there or down here and get up to this ledge so if any Widowmaker or anybody's sitting up here you can do that one now you can't jump from this ledge over to that one so one thing that you can do is you got it from the ground jump up onto here or use it as a bridge between those two between those two points okay so since these are all the same level I'm not gonna really go through all these obviously these are all the same and right here, here's the last one, so definitely when you're trying to escape or get to somebody that's up here, you know, use it that way. Uh, right here, if you don't know about it, 
I'll just point it out, it's not a, really an ice wall thing, but you can actually jump with most characters from there, onto this, and onto that. I can just hop up there real quick. You can hop from here to there, like this, and you can go stand on her head, and then, like I said, we're being silly. You can go stand on top of this head and start the match out right up here and get sniped, and then, you know, it's 5v6 and your team hates you. So there's that. Moving forward. This is probably one of my favorite chokes in the entire game. You can just sit here with the, the ice wall, stand right behind it so when the payload's coming through, you just block, hold it. Once your ice wall blocks, try to hide behind it as soon as they see you. Go into this. If they're smart, they'll walk through. If they're not smart, they'll back up, and then you can just back up again. I've held entire teams here all by myself. Minutes at a time, so... Definitely a great spot. Okay, so back to the ice walls. Not really a whole lot of spots to use it over here. You have that window and that ledge right there. Up. Same level as this. If you're coming from a flank from behind here. Use it to get anybody standing up here or you just happen to be you know, coming through here, or somebody's chasing you and you're running away. Actually put your ice wall up, jump backwards, and you're up there, and you did two things. You used it to get up top, but you also used it to block that doorway. A lot of times when I'm putting up the ice walls, I'll, I won't do the ice wall like this. I want to make sure that I'm on it, so I'll do the other one. You just hit E again a second time. There we go, jump up backwards. So we're up here. And use it to get up to this this area and a lot of times if I want to harass the attacking team if I'm on defense this is a good a good spot to use your ice walls in that respect get up to either this ledge or you can get up to that ledge reloading even though I have nobody to shoot <laughs> okay we got this spot up here that people like to say that sometimes. You can get right onto it. You can also do an ice wall off of that onto here, but like I just showed you, you can just directly go up onto it. You can use the ice wall from the ground get up onto that ledge, which is that entire ledge right there. So if anybody's up there or if you just want to get up and go around, use it come around this way. One place that I like to do when you've made it this far and you've taken this spot right here, so you spawn out of that little garage looking thing. Coming through this door, because they're going to be expecting most people to push through here. And so every now and then, you just got to throw them off and do something different. Come through here, they still can't see you yet. And use an ice wall, it push you right up to that window. You come up, let your team know what you're doing. Let them know that they can push when you're about to do that. So make sure you're calling out the stuff ahead of time so people are ready since the blizzard only has a short amount of time where your team can actually uh, benefit from it. Okay, so one spot that a lot of people will want to get up to but is a little bit more difficult is up here. Now if you have the payload and you you know pushed it to this far you can just stand on the payload your ice wall and jump up there no problem as you see it doesn't work that easy when there is no payload if you jump if let's say you do something right here and get onto this this is not going to work I'm not gonna kill myself to prove it but you can't do it one of my friends did show me however that <laughs> No, it's really crazy, but if you jump and you get it at just the right angle, you see you see that blue spot right there? You you can do it. So it's I wouldn't do this in the middle of a game. <laughs> but if you are able to get that and able to jump at just the right time. able to get in here and jump at just the right time you can see 
uh, that you can actually do it that way. But it's really hard to do. Let's see if we can do it for the video though. So there's the spot. I want to jump forward and just shoot that. And there we go. So you are, if you can, if you can get used to doing that. It's right in between those. Right in between that. So. <laughs> it's right above it. So you see, it's not on it. It's right above it, like that. Let's see how far back. So as we're running towards it, let's see where's. <laughs> and that's why you don't try it in the middle of the game. Okay, so you can use your ice wall to get up to here. If you're chasing somebody, I suggest just coming around or walking around that way and getting them without wasting your wall. But if they're, you know, they're really low on health and they're running up here and they're about to go get that mega pack, then yes, use your ice wall, come up here and, and just finish them off real quick before they're able to get this mega. So that's a good time to do it. Uh, other than that, save your ice wall, use it for something that's more beneficial for you and your team. Okay, so from right here, you can actually use it to get up there. Obviously, it's not too too high up right there. Oh, well, Pollux, what's this? What about this ledge? Well, we could do one of those weird sneaky things where we hop into this hole and do some fancy stuff and in the middle of the game when everybody's looking at us we jump backwards and then jump up here but you know there's got to be a better way right well you're right there is and it took me two years to find it because i wasn't really looking but these stairs right here this is what you're looking for nice and easy nice and clean this is more for defense but you happen to be you know, working your way in as your team, and your team's right here, and you're trying to finish it off. Coming through this back door, and through this, coming through this side door right here, while your team's handling up. Get yourself right here, like I said, and you can even, if you want to, if you got a bastion or something crazy, get him up here. Okay. All right, team. I'm gonna ult in three, two, one. Throw it. Make sure you don't die, so you don't lose your ult. Hop down and help your team take care of the rest. So that's a really good spot once again. You ever just stop in the middle of the game to look around at some of the stuff or, or listen to some of these things? It's pretty awesome. Okay, so that's it for this video on King's Row. I want to thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like the content, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe uh, to let you know when I release more videos about me. Have a nice day. See you next time.